Hello world of Facebook. I was trying to see if uh, there's any way that we can turn on a flashlight with this or maybe not. It's not looking that way. It was a good try. Classical. I'm looking at all the different things we can check out here. Country, funk, acid, whatever acid is. Classical. Nope. Pop. Nope, no pop. No filter. Might as well just be as good as it's gonna get. Anyways. I uh I came up to the Memorial Bridge here in Veterans Memorial Park where you can't see, it's unfortunate. For Memorial Day 2016. This was I believe I'm not certain when Memorial when this bridge was uh built. I'm sure there's a plaque somewhere somewhere around here that says it. But I just come up here to kind of tell us, or kind of show everybody and tell the world or Facebook what Veterans Day means to me. A lot of you know me through Facebook and a lot of you have seen that um, sorry. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Sorry. I'm proud of my country. I'm proud of my community. There's there's people dang it. There's people in my lives in my life that has affected me tremendously. <clears throat> and for that I'm grateful. Better Veterans Day this year was different. For some reason. I don't know why, but it was different. I came to the Memorial the Veterans Day Memorial Bridge today for at 11 o'clock for the Rush County Veterans Day service. Sergeant Major Bob Brown was here, United States Marine Corps. I bet there was close to 100 veterans standing across the bridge from all the rest of us. And here, let me see if I can turn this around. Maybe, wrong button. Missed it again. You can kind of tell here, there's three rows of benches right there. There's two rows of benches over here. And I apologize that you can't see this very well, but you know, my videography skills aren't the greatest either, so I apologize for that. Anyways, this is the Memorial Bridge. I think it's fitting. We've got, almost got a full moon. And we got Old Glory waving high. We're out here. This is kind of, I know you can't see it very well, but you can kind of see the bridge here where we're at. But what Veterans Day to this year meant to me was not being with those directly affected through my family, through military services. And what it, what it did was it opened my eyes. It gave me a sense of pride just seeing the people in Rush County. Not only was there probably a hundred service members here, but there was probably a hundred or 150 civilians watching it. I've never considered myself a veteran for good reason. Those of you 
that have known me for a while know that in 2009, I think it was, I went to basic training for the United States Air Force. Obviously didn't graduate. <laughs> Um, and the reason being was three weeks into basic training I don't ever tell anybody this so I apologize three weeks into basic training uh, I got called to the I, I don't know the correct terminology, so I apologize. I got to call to the, to the doctor's office, if you will. They're on, on base. There goes a truck. Fairly interesting truck being pulled by Davis towing. It's a bad sign. Dang it. Uh, but I went to the doctor's office there on base at, at uh, I guess it's Lackley Air, Lackland Air Force Base there in San Antonio, Texas. It, probably at the end of February or beginning of March, I forget when it was. And the lady who stood a solid five foot, probably, she looked up at me and said, Young man, you have a high liver count. We're going to have to send you home. You've got two options here. You can deal with it. And we will send you home potentially within the next year. Or you can come up with a story to tell everyone here why you need to be home sooner. And son, let me tell you, I cannot tell you exactly what those things that you're going to tell the proper people here what you're going to tell them to get you out of here sooner but I think that you're going to be able to figure it out on your own so I went back they put me in the hospital just to get away from the race the, the rest of uh, BMT training and everything like that all the guys that were there and ladies that were there uh, they put me in a, on the psych ward at the hospital and I was just, just pretty much lived there until they sent me home. Two days after being there, I met some friends, because not everybody's crazy on the, at, on the psych ward level. And three of these guys were getting medically disqualified just like I was. And I asked them, we started talking, we became really good friends. I'm friends with them today on Facebook. They could be watching this right now, I have no idea. And I asked them, what are you guys doing? Are you going to wait out a year, potentially? Or are you going to get out of here sooner? Two of the three said, I'm getting out of here sooner. And I said, how the hell are you going to do that? They said, well, I, uh, I told them that I was scared for my life and those around me. I said, you did what? He goes, I told them that I was potentially suicidal. I said, shit, man. I, I do not want to do that. I did that. And... Two weeks later, two weeks later, I was in Rushville, Indiana. This is stupid. Why am I crying? And I didn't have anything to do. You know, obviously I had prepared 
for my future going into the Air Force, this is going to be my job. This is how I'm going to make a living for at least four years. And that got shut down immediately. They, uh, they gave me paperwork. They didn't call it an honorable discharge. They didn't call it a dishonorable just discharge. Just a general discharge. And up until today, you will not find February 2009 to March 2009 on my resume. You won't see it. You'll see nowhere where it says United States Air Force on there. And tomorrow I'm going to change that. Today when I got to the Veterans Day service, the first one of the first people I saw was Sandy Land. And who, if you don't know, is what I consider my aunt. I married into I married her niece, and therefore it is what it is. She's my aunt. Take it or leave it. I love her greatly. I love uh, her family greatly. But the first thing she said to me was, Michael, you better go across there. You're a veteran, come on, get across there. I said, no, no not me, not me. But I'll be damned if after the services were done, concluded, I wore my U.S. Air Force hat that I had made the beginning of 09 with Dobbin Speck embroidered on the back of it. I wear that today not for me. I don't wear it for me. I wear it for my brother. And Joe, I won't say where you're at. But he's uh He's starting year two in the United States Air Force. And I couldn't be any more proud. I promise you that. I've had people try to get between me and my family before. Screw them. Didn't work. Mom, I apologize because I know you're watching this. Uh but screw them. My brother has put up with more shit in his life from me than, uh, than I wish on a lot of people. And I, uh, I know it didn't make him the man he is today, but I'm sure it kind of helped a little bit. He got that ass whipped every once in a while by me. And I, in return, got that ass whipped by dad. Mom tried. Sorry, mom. I know you're still watching. But it never hurt. Yeah, dad's dead. And when when Joe enlisted, we had 
we had Roxy. Roxy was two years old. And I thought, very selfishly, why would you do that? Why would you potentially put yourself in a position now that you've got a niece, you've got people around who care for you greatly and once again, screw me. Screw me. I never should have thought that way. Anyways, I'm back to today. After the service, I uh, talked to Sandy a little bit more. I had four guys come across the bridge to me. I was one of the last, uh, I bet, 20 people standing here. I like to socialize. You know me. And uh, four guys, four service members came up to me and said, why didn't you stand over there with us? Mind you, I didn't know any of these guys. They were all much older, much wiser than me. And I, I explained to them. I said, I served all of a month. Doesn't count. And he says, boy, I'll be damned if you ever tell me that again. So, I've never considered myself a veteran, nor will I ever, just due to the fact that my life has never been put in danger. The, the things that I have endured are minute compared to pretty much every other service member out there. And for that, I thank you. I, uh, I'm all about my country. Those of you who know me know that. And I'm going to get a little political here. It's not going to last long, I promise you. And you can delete me if you want to or not. I don't care. Uh, I did not vote for Donald Trump. I did not vote for Hillary Clinton. I did, however, vote for Gary Johnson. And also, I did not vote for President Obama either time. But I'll be damned if I wished ill on anyone that's going to lead our country into the future. We don't have a choice. This is the way it is. You just got to deal with it now. There's going to be good things that come. There's going to be bad things that come. And at the end of the day, we're still going to be wearing red, white, and blue today, Memorial Day, Independence Day, and my personal favorite, my birthday. And I actually wear red, white, and blue as often as I can. Actually, right now, now I know it's I know it's Veterans Day, but I've got probably you probably can't see these socks. You might be able to. I don't know. They're definitely striped. These are definitely starred because that's how I roll. I wore these socks last Friday because that's how I roll. I uh. I'm just going on and on, and for that, I apologize. But I just wanted to get out, get to the Memorial Bridge, and just reflect a little bit. Nothing major. I apologize if, if I did just ramble on and on and on. Once again, this is Facebook. It's a public website. Deal with it. But I encourage anyone who wants to do anything, if you don't have anything, anybody that supports you 
in your potential to you know pretty much do whatever call me i'll support you now if it's something that i don't think is a good choice obviously we're going to talk about that i'm not very smart let's get that out of the way right now i worked harder in high school to figure out what colleges around the state of indiana did take the sat or the act i am probably out of our graduating class 2007 I'm probably the only one that went to college that never took either one of those tests. And that's the truth. Isn't that right, Mom? That's right. Sturworth knows. Jared Sturworth. We've been best friends since, I'd say, kindergarten. We fought back then quite a bit, but we still were best friends, I'd say. We roomed together at Vincennes. He took the SAT or ACT. I don't know which one he did, but he took it. He didn't have to, but he did. I went to Vincennes for all of a year. Only with a high school education. And I survived. I'm doing decent now, but still going to be got to do better. I'm going to walk away from the bridge now. I'm going to start walking back home. But there's, there's always potential out there. No matter what you want to do in life, where you want to go, talk to a recruiter. If you don't want to do it full time, talk to that recruiter still. There's opportunities for, you know, for the guard, for the Air National Guard, for the Army National Guard. I have no idea what the uh, Navy Guard is or what the Green Guard, but I'm sure it's there. I'm sure it's an opportunity, an option that you can do. But I just want it to be known that if you're ever doubting anything in life, call me up. I'll talk to you. You can, you can get my number now or shoot me a message on Facebook. But Joe, I love you. Uh, I'll see you in two weeks. Thank you for what you do. To all veterans out there, thank you. I appreciate what you do to those future veterans that don't know what they're doing in life right now thank you I will appreciate what you do and for those who think that they've got it all worse or off, they're bad off however you want to look at it there's always somebody I'm not saying that's me I'm not saying it's not me there's always somebody who's got a little bit worse off. And for that, you'll be all right, okay? I'm gonna get off here. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you to those who served. Marines, happy birthday yesterday, I think. What was it, 261? 261st birthday or something like that? 271 maybe. I don't know. I'm not good with math. I already kind of went over that. But, uh, love y'all. Go America. Deal with the president that we've got. If you voted for him, congratulations. If you didn't vote for him, suck it up. It's life. You're not going to get a damn trophy. I guarantee you that. But, we'll be alright. We'll be alright. Hi, how are you? Somebody blinking their lights at me. Oh, about had a wreck of mess, cow. Well, nope, going on a liquor store. See, that'll get you. That'll get you. All right, I'm out. Peace. Love y'all. Go America. Till next time. I don't know how to end this now. Dang it. Oh, what in the world?
Clayton Foster, Chance Landers. Hey, thank you guys. Happy Veterans Day. 241st, thanks Jacob. Way off. I don't even know. I forgot all about there even being a potential for comments. Mr. Shearer, thank you, sir. Who else we got on here? Mr. Spear, I think, I think that you were uh, in the military before that. I appreciate it. Hell, I don't know. All right, I'm out. Peace.